Now let's make a project using the Be My Valentine bundle. It's a very cute bundle with little bee images with two-step stamping and a punch for quick and easy crafting. Over the weekend, we had our on-stage event, which is a demonstrator event, and we did a few make and takes. And this was one of the make and takes, and I wanted to recreate this idea just using some different colors and adding a few other techniques to it. So let's get started. I'm going to start with just a basic white card base, and I'm using the thick basic white card stock for stability on my card base, and I'm just going to set that aside. And then I've got a mat of petal pink and then a front piece of basic white. Now I'm going to stamp my words first, and I'm going to use Memento Black. Let me just move those out of the way and stamp yours as sweet as honey about here. Now I'm going to do something just a little bit different with my embossing folder. I have got the, I just call it the dots folder. It comes in the pack of three that are called the basics and we've got like a little daisy one and a crosshatch one and the, these dots. So I'm going to run it through like this just above my words. This time I'm going to put the plate over the whole thing because I actually want to get that line across the top that the edge of the folder makes. And then when I take that away, and I actually like how the end of this folder has got like half dots, then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing at the bottom and I'm going to cover the edge again as well. Now I've got embossing above and below my words and I've got a nice little border around them with those little partial dots. Okay, then we'll go ahead and put that onto the mat and then onto the card front. And there we go. And now I'm using the Be My Valentine papers. I'm just going to use different ones than we used at on stage. And I did sand the edges just lightly. I won't do it on the video because it does make quite a terrible sound and I thought I actually did like this idea of just using a couple uh, rectangles of the paper to just make a cute and fun background like this and now we just want to make our B. So I'm going to grab my mat because you always want to have a mat under you when you stamp with photopolymer particularly if you're using more solid images like these the B here. I'm going to stamp the B stripes first and then I'll use Daffodil Delight and I'm going to stamp the body. But a little tip for you is to designate a bone folder. You can see mine's quite um, marked up just to kind of move that ink around a little bit. I think you'll find that particularly with solid photopolymer images, having a little spot on your ink pad that isn't overly saturated with ink is quite nice. Then you can ink your stamp on the side where I've moved some of the ink out of the way and you can even put part of the stamp into the side that's got a little more ink on it to give your image just a little bit of shading. So I'm going to put that at the back, it's a little bit darker. There we go. Hopefully you can see that how you've got dark and then light where I'm going to stamp his little face. Okay, now this stamp set is very cute. It's got several different faces, actually four. So I want my B to ultimately be going about that way. And then I'll just take the punch and punch him out really nice and quick. And you almost always get a heart when you punch out the B, so I figure it might as well maybe put that on the envelope or something. Now for the antenna, I just stamped the antenna on vellum and for stamping on vellum, you need to use the stays on ink or the permanent ink. And I'm gonna use this little heart to punch out the antenna. And then while I've got that vellum, I'm gonna use my stays on and I'm going to stamp the wings. 
Now I'm just gonna give that a moment to dry because vellum has got a waxy coating on it and so inks even stays on might just take a moment to fully evaporate and dry. And I'm gonna clean that off. And on this white, I'm gonna stamp the wings again in Pool Party. And then there's a solid heart in the set. So I'm gonna stamp that, I'm gonna stamp it off and then stamp it over top to give it some color. And it actually matches just perfectly. So that's one of the great things about photopolymer stamps is because you can see right through them, it's really relatively easy to line up two-step stamping like this. And I'll just punch both of these out with the heart. Now on this vellum, the vellum wings, I'm just gonna add a little bit of Wink of Stella. And again, I'll just give that a few moments to dry. Okay, let's go back to our project. And I'm gonna use a glue dot to add the antenna to my B, about where they would go. And then I'll use another glue dot to adhere the vellum wings on top of the blue wings at the bottom where it's not gonna be seen anyway. And I'll just kind of decide about where it's gonna go and I'm gonna put those wings down flat and then I'm gonna put my B up on dimensionals. And then I just wanna add a few little embellishments using a very small piece of ribbon. I'm just gonna glue dot that in half and then I should have done this before. I'm just gonna tuck it underneath here. And then this Be My Valentine Suite also has these really cute embellishments. I used the flowers on the other sample, so I'll use the hearts on this one. And there we go. And here's the one that I made earlier today. So the only real difference is I've used flowers instead of hearts and also I accidentally put the folder in upside down, but then I just went with it. And actually, I don't think it looks wrong. It definitely has kind of a honeycomb feel to it um, when it's done that way. And this was the original, which is also cute too, but I just wanted to make it completely different while taking this cute idea, well, simple, but cute idea of using a couple pieces of, of the printed paper and then adding our fun bee, just jazzed him up a little bit. So I have a couple other samples to share with you. So this is the another one that we did at on stage. So these were designed by um, either Shannon West or just by the design team, I'm not really sure, but I just thought it was soft and cute and I really like these colors together. And then this one's done using a masked background with the hearts and then just blending some color in and then just uh, making the bee a little bit softer for uh, more of a clean and simple style of card. So there are my samples with the Be My Valentine suite. I hope you enjoyed that. Please leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. And if you have a friend who's thinking about this suite or has this suite, please share this video with them too. And of course, subscribe and I'll see you next video. This is Jackie Williams. Bye-bye.